New at four, after months of demonstrations across the country following the death of George Floyd at the hands of police, Governor Ron DeSantis introduced a new bill that would toughen penalties for those who commit crimes during protests. Governor DeSantis says more needs to be done to protect law enforcement. News Six's Nadine Giannis is standing by in the newsroom with more. Nadine. Hey, Julie, one the time where protesters are calling for justice reform, Governor Ron DeSantis is proposing what he calls the Combating Violence, Disorder and Looting and Law Enforcement Protection Act. This legislation that will get tough on people who partake in violence during protests, including felony level penalties on anyone who damages property, causes injury or destroys public property. And so I'm proud today to be able to announce what will be a focal point of the next legislative session. Um, a, a, a legislative proposal which we're calling the Combating Violence, Disorder and Looting and Law Enforcement Protection. Governor Ron DeSantis says it's a bold move that will take priority in next year's legislative session, fighting against what he calls disorderly assemblies. Speaking from the Polk County Sheriff's Office, the governor introduced a package of sorts meant to deter riots, with three main points, including creating new criminal offenses to combat rioting, increased penalties for those involved, and citizen and taxpayer measures measures, which basically means the governor wants to create mandatory minimum sentences for anyone caught participating in a protest that turns violent and take away that person's government benefits if convicted. He also says this combating violence disorder, looting and law enforcement protection act would strip state funding from any local government that moves to defund their police departments. And one thing we have to do is we have to uh, stand unequivocally behind the people behind me who put on the uniform and put themselves at risk to be able to defend uh, our freedoms and defend our society. It has the backing of local sheriffs, including Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. This is a peaceful protest. This is looting. If you loot, the next thing you can try to steal is something off of your food tray at the county jail, because you're going to jail. That's a guarantee and Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood tweeting his support today. And Sheriff John Mina also responded this afternoon saying, let me be clear, I'm committed to protecting the First Amendment right to a peaceful assembly, but I've always said we will not tolerate destruction of property or violence. Now, this is a policy announcement that will then turn into a series of laws that will come up in the 2021 legislative session. However, we're hearing from Democratic representatives in the state who call this move by the governor a political propaganda stunt right before the election. We actually unpacked this proposal with our legal analysts to look more at the Constitution of it. A lot more coming up at New 6 at 5.